Hey guys, welcome to part 13. Last episode, got an old rod, decided to use a drip loon, messed around on the beach, caught a love disc, caught a bunch of weird Pokemon, saw a whole lot of weird Pokemon, and now I'm in a fossil lab. With Mr. You, who are you? You always come to the fossil lab because you like fossils. Yes. Is that it? That's it. Whoa, 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 Genesect? Please let me know, alright? Genesect, that one bug steel. Whoa, who are you? Wait for me. That one steel bug legendary that looks awesome that I want. Who are you? Why are you been to. Welcome, future archaeologist. What? You were drawn here by the mystique of fossils, no doubt. What? My name is Serena, and this is Max. We've researched Mega Evolution. We were wondering if you know anything about it. Oh, so you're a Professor Sycamore student. I've heard about you. What? I'm sorry, but I know that it has something to do with these mysterious stones. So, since you're students, the professor you must know about Pokemon fossils, right? That's right, fossil legacy of nation see Then the Igri Sword Falls just I have something to do with Mega Evolution. Is this an Glimmering Cave? Right now right now I might know about that. What should we do? Well, since I'm already here, maybe we should go talk to that assistant. Are you going to Glimmering Cave, Max? Max? I don't know where Glittering Cave is, so Max. Grab stylus. That must be Glittering Cave right there. By retired Byron racers who forged a path where there was none. Yeah, let's head there next. Sounds like the most logical place to get away from me. Sounds like the most logical place to go. Usually when they drop subtle hints like that, it's like, yeah, you should go this way. Okay, I like roller skates, but it's hard to control yourself. Wait, Grace? Is that my mom? I like to ride Ryhorn. Press A button to find your way over the clay. That little ditty will teach you how. Pokemon moves with come. Pokemon moves that come physical contact with the target direct attacks. If you want to do something about them, you can try this. Ooh, that's actually pretty sweet. You combine that with the ability like Iron Barb's rough skin, it'll really start to sting. That's actually really sweet. Okay, so where is it? Give to. I will give it to Snorlax, but he's at the head of the party, so I'll give it to Drifloon. Yeah. Look at that. Thanks, lady. So, do I get to ride Rhyhorns? Hello, Rhyhorn. Sweet. Yeah. Kinda slow. Faster. Whoa, whoa, what? What happened? What happened? What happened? Where am I? Whoa! Cool. Very cool. I I consider it, but no. My my memory serves me. You're actually rock. I forget what that even does. I think you're rocked. Dang it. So, I, I guess I was wrong. Again. Arch. Go, my faithful Rhyhorn. I'm not your master. Ah! No, oh, get away from me. Oh. My goodness. That's like the cutest thing ever. I kind of want it. Max, you don't know anything about it. That's right, I don't. Okay, the little spiky leaves are cool. Oh, you're a normal type. Oh, I can't... Yeah. Uh, I see if I... Chip away will kill it. Ivysaur, actually, is probably my best bet. I don't have a lightning type, but I don't really know enough about you. And my inventory is full of Pokemon, so I can't really look at your stats. Once I got you. Blah. Ah, great, you just messed with my accuracy. Find me. What? Quit it. Quit it. There. 
Well, let's see, you boosted your, you're boosting your special defense, like, nutsy, so Venishok should actually, ah! Quit it! Yeah, I'll be honest, that thing is adorable, so I'm, I'm sort of considering it, but I can't really, oh, no! Ah, what have I done? Ah, oh, well. And if I could have looked at stats, I would have considered it more. Ah, what is it? What do you want? Get away from me. Okay, let's try this again. Nicely. Blah. I don't do nicely. Intimidate? Eh, yeah, sure why not. Max, what are you doing? Eh, yeah, sure why not. Max, what are you doing? No, no, trust me on this. This will this will be great. See? Worked great. So am I like still staying on a Rhyhorn right now? I mean, what's wrong with the path that only Rhyhorns can cross? I don't see any special apparatuses on them. There we go. I mean, why can't I run across it? I do what I want. Do what this? It's moved along on the sand surface, except for its nose and eyes. A dark member and shields its eyes from the sun. It's ground. Oops. Drop my stylus. No. Smashy. Smashy. I want that Pokeball. Smashy. All right, let me down. Can I catch you? No, please. Ah. So lame. I'm just gonna start with. Oop. I like the feel of this, but I'm just gonna start using the little pad. This thing, this thing right here, just because it's a lot nicer. Turn there. Come on. There we go. So it's just it's nicer to work with. And I can aim. Do you? Thank you. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's nice. Dun, dun, dun. Come on. Back up, back up, back up. No. There. Yeah. Smashy. Wow, the Onyx decides that you're a jerk for smashing that. What? I, I didn't do nothing. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that, like, no Pokemon have been screaming at me for, you know, breaking it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oops. Oh, nope, nope, I'm just gonna kill you now. What? No sympathy, just, I'm, I'm gonna kill you. See a little symbol there? Yes, I see a little symbol. That means I can kill you. Bring to me a Beldum. Or Metagross. That'd be great. Aww. Beldum, Metagross. I'll take either one. Smash. But I want to talk to those trainers first, so smash you. Come on. There you go. No, let me off. Thank you. Really? Now let me off. Thank you, Rhyhorn. Who are you? Yeah, trainer, allow me to start. Thanks. Who are you? And eh, whatever. And eh, whatever. I better go check that one other area then. So if I get a fossil, what should I get? Ah, no. Something cool. Like what? I don't know. Something cool. You need a little bit more work than that. Okay, this time I'm gonna try to catch you, because you're adorable. Okay, lick. Whoa! That's cool. 
Oh, forgot. Okay, um. Okay, go to Avishar. See, I would have used Drifloon, except that little lightning attack would have killed him. Very quickly. It might be able to maybe survive one more. But, nah, I won't bet my money on it. Go for it. Throw! Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Ding! Ding ding! Ding! There we go. Heliopata. Heliopata. Heliopatile. Yes! Heliopatophile. Pedalopile. Ah oh, yes. Okay, let's see. Fifty-five versus forty-five. Yeah. Forget mine whip. Now I might be wrong, but I think Razor Leaf can also hit more than one target, which would be really cool. Ooh, I didn't even think. Should I like try to activate swarms here? Would that be good? They make their home in the deserts. They can generate the air energy from basking in the sun, so eating food is not right. Cool. They got photosynthesis going for them. Dun, dun. See, now that I have the ability to like create swarms, I just kind of want to make swarms everywhere. And I think there's like certain Pokemon you can only get in swarms, which is a big plus. That's really dramatic. Okay. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to ignore you, because that's what I do. Care for a sky battle with a sky trainer? Yes! <laughs> with my rubber flying suit, I can completely destroy off electric type. What? What's a fly bat? What? Do a challenge by sky trainer? Alright, what? I don't know what's going on. Whoa, I'm flying. Oh, cool! Oh, dear, he's level 21. Yes, he is. Um, options, 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 options. We'll cheat. What? Uh, sure. What do you mean by cheat? I mean, I'm gonna be using potions. I want Drifloon to win this. Ouch. Jerk. Come on, it's it flying. So basically what flying... That worked pretty well. So basically what flying battles are is just... And kind of self-explanatory. Only flying Pokemon can be in them. So make sure you know what you're getting into before you say yes to one, because it might not... Oh, come on! Boom! Oh, this isn't good. This battle might take a little bit, so I might speed it up. Just a little. There we go! Sick of this confusion nonsense. No! Ah, turkey. Just because me hitting myself is more powerful than you. Ah, dear. Let's just try, like... Look, it's obvious that his only strength is making me hurt myself, so if I just use Minimize, then in theory I'll be able to dodge his Supersonics, which would be really nice. 
Oh, that's the only thing he has. Sucks to be you. That makes sense now. Oh, his other move must be, um, Comet Punch. The only problem is if he runs out of moves, he'll be able to use Struggle, which is... I think it's like a little bit weaker than Takedown, but it still has Recoil. And that can hit Ghosts, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it can. Rear. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Drip Loon's first battle. And he's taking on someone that's as big as my one. Well, as big as the biggest Pokemon on my team, if I could talk straight. Come on. Kick butt. Take names. Taking names. There we go. Eat it, Ladian. I like holding on to Drifloon's feet. Don't drop me, Drifloon. Yes! How about a good... How about a better move? Sweet. Wait, it doesn't matter if I'm wearing the suit. It's my Pokemon that are taking the hits. I didn't even use lightning moves. So, in your face. So, will you do, like, another battle? If I'm down here? Ooh. I like Dusk Balls. For those of you who don't know, dust balls are one of the best balls you can ever have. The more I say that, the weirder it sounds. Somewhat different Pokeball that makes it easy to catch wild Pokemon at night or in places like caves. Plus, like, when you catch a Pokemon and, like... Okay, you know how, like, different Pokeballs have, like, different animations if you bring them out? With a dust ball, it makes it look like the shadowy aura comes out. Is there a way to, like, switch what Pokemon has what? Because if I did, I would definitely give Drifloon that, so he looks all shadowy. Who are you? I love you, but who are you? Okay, cave. This is a great idea, everyone. This is it. I'm liking the close-up. I almost bumped my head against my laptop. I'm gonna do exactly what they told me not to do and run like an idiot. We. Hello! What just happened? Where am I? What's going on? Is it a zoo bat? Oh! Oh dear! Oh! Oh dear! Oh dear! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Max, calm down. It, it's a Rhyhorn! Okay, options. Either A, I can use Lick, which has 30 base damage, or I can use Chip Away and be halved. But hey, it like, ignores defense boosts, and I think that thing can use defensive incline moves. Oh dear. I don't... I think it only learns ground-type moves later on in life, so using an Ivysaur will actually be quite advantageous. Plus, I can just use poison moves, which will be equally effective. Stompy. Bleh. I love that. It's like Venom. Oh, I'm sorry. When I say Venom, I'm thinking of like the... It's not as cute when you do it. When I say Venom, I'm thinking of, like the Marvel person Venom. Just like the spike of goo. I love it. Doinky. Ah, oh, you can take one more. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just not as cute when you do it. I mean, I've known, I've known forever that Rhyhorns could do tail whip, but I, I just can't really like mentally fathom them using the move. Ouchie. That's my face. Ouchie. Quit that. I'll tell on you. I really hope they don't make me, like, later on say, like, oh, by the way, you have to get your own Rhyhorn, because I'd be like, ah, oh, really? Look, just let me walk, okay? Please. Like, those ledges that, ah, oh, really? Like, those ledges that they always say, like, you cannot cross? I could go over those in real life. Granted, I'm 18 and 6 foot tall, so for me, it's no problem, but... Even when I was 12, year old, 12 years old, or however old this person is, I could still do it. Come on. Gotta be kidding me. You quit that nonsense. Mostly because you're gonna, like, one-hit my Ivysaur. And that's gonna be bad. Yeah, go for it. For Wait, did I comfortably catching its target? That's weird. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ding. Yes. Gotcha, a Rhyhorn was caught! 
Hey! What you got? Strong, but not too bright. This Pokemon can shatter even a sky. Yeah. Right. Am I the only one that ever gets the impression that, like, people who write the Pokedex entries like to exaggerate on purpose? And I like... You guys are gonna look at this and call me an idiot. I like to imagine Pokemon being in the real world, having, like, the same Pokemon physics like they would for us. Do you get what I mean? Sorta? Of? Not really? But I, I, I expect them to have the same sort of physics. So you have, like, reasonable powers. What? I love that. It's like, dun dun! Oh my goodness, it's a mobile! Wait a second, you're a fairy now! That's right! Okay, I remember. Sorry, this is gonna be stuck. For some reason, whenever I see a Mawile, all I can think of is Mawile Cyrus. And I'm not sure why I think that. Because, like, once. Like, my family was just kind of arbitrarily like, talking about, like, celebrities. That was freaky. We were just like arbitrarily talking about celebrities, and somehow one of the people who popped out was, Mo was Miley Cyrus. Now, I don't like Miley Cyrus whatsoever, so don't think I'm endorsing her. But I accidentally said Miley Cyrus, so now every time I see Miley Cyrus, uh, Miley, I think of Miley Cyrus, and for that, I'm not going to use Miley. That's just messed up. It's okay, I'm gonna catch you, and put you in a box, and never let you leave. The den, den den, den den, ding! Take that, Mawiley. Yay! Yes! Alright, time to start training up Drifling. Or at least attempting yawn. Yeah! Forget? Yawns are great. The user lets loose a huge yawn that lulls the target into falling asleep on the next turn. I'm throwing out a guess you guys can see the usefulness in that. Okay, let's see. His special defense is already incredibly high. His defense, uh, yeah, I forget. I'll probably regret doing that, but you know, yeah, oh, it's gonna be fun. Take that, mobile. It uses its docile looking face to lull foes into complacency, then bites with its huge, relentless jaws. What, am I the only one that did not notice the giant thing lying on my face there? Whoosh. Whoosh. Heartstone? What does that do? Bag. Woo! None of my guys know rock type moves. Or bug type moves. Or, yeah. Sort of stinks. Wait a second, what did I give? Hold on. Drifloon. Summary. Oh yeah, I gave him a rocky helmet, so if things punched him, they get damage done, which I think is awesome. Okay. So in the next episode, let's keep exploring this really cool-looking cave with the cool glowing things. So, see you then!